Welcome to an incredible edition of Video Hits because it is solid gold Video Hits today with the Beastie Boys who are hanging with us. Thank you so much for spending some time. Yeah, hello. Hi. Now, Hi. now, you guys, this, like last time it was all tracksuits, almost Australian vibe, but this time you've gone upmarket and uh, you've even got a hat going on today at Rock. Now, uh, you know, it's going on. It is. Now, so what's, what's, what's with the new look? Well, we kind of felt, you know, with solid gold hits, we don't have solid gold teeth. So we had to make up for it in other areas, haberdashery being one. That's that's almost gold, that suit you're wearing. Do they have that down here, haberdashery? Oh, yeah. W yeah. What are they again? I've forgotten. What? Haberdasher? It's uh, someone that takes care of general uh, haberdashery needs, you know, shirts, ties, accoutrement. I always thought it was something like an aviary, like where, where you kept birds or something like that, a haberdashery. That's what it kind of sounded like to me. I'm wrong? Not, though. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, Unless the bird is wearing a little uh, tuxedo well, or something. Well, I'm sure there are well-dressed birds out there. Well, there are in this audience today. Is that why you keep coming back to Australia? Uh, uh, Play on uh, words. Uh, uh, you like that? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, pageantry has always been a big thing for you guys. Is, is, uh, is the new stuff that, you, that we might see soon going to be a bit more kind of suit-wearing attire? Explicit. Explicit. It's gonna be very explicit, exclusive, new sounds. We're gonna. Are we still rolling? Yes, yeah, still yeah. rolling. Do you have I enough tape for this? Did uh, is it true that you were eating from a dumpster while you were in the alley? No, I actually I wasn't. I had I I I had finished and, and and eaten from a dumpster <laughs> at the same time, but not in Melbourne. There, there was, uh, in Wollongong, I had, was at Happy Jack's one time and I threw up on a rat. I don't even know if Wollongong is actually a name of a place or an animal. Yeah. No, it, it's you're, like, you're, you're spot on, man. Yeah. yeah. And I went down to Kalamarama and Rama one time and I had a good time. But it was just a good time. Now, just in case you're wondering what the hell's going on, uh, I'm not wearing a suit. No, this is the Beastie Boys and this is Solid Gold Video Hits. And we're talking about um, defecating in, in alleys. Now, why, why haven't you done it in Melbourne? I mean, I think that's unfair to, to leave this city out of it. No, he did. That's what he's saying last night. He just no. said he wasn't eating from the dumpster while he was in the alley. Was it in the alley right because behind I, that restaurant? Because, like a dog, I tried to be sure where I eat. I'm sorry I to have to say <laughs> behind In that alley, behind said restaurant, I did see in the... I try not the, to. doesn't mean that I don't. Sorry. Is there something wrong with the toilets here? Or did you have, like, some bad... Like, you couldn't make it in time? Like, what was the reason? Yeah, it's just goofing. He's trying to kill Actually, a rat. <laughs> you know, it's funny though, we, we ate at a really nice, I think what you would call upmarket Italian restaurant last night. Delicious food, yeah. but it seemed like, just I couldn't tell exactly what it seemed like, they had an outhouse right by where we were eating. Like, it didn't seem like there was a, a toilet as much as an outhouse. <laughs> and, and so you ignored that and decided to, to poo on, on, in the alley. <sighs> Not me. No. No. So, now, now, just just while we're on this certain tip, I was thinking that you guys actually invented the term mullet. Is that right? Yeah, you know that a lot of people have been bandying that about uh, here in Australia, but but no, we um, we put the word out there, but it certainly existed before us and will exist quite a long time after. I mean, it, it it's it's a it's a fish for crying out loud. <laughs> it's nice to be in that category, though. You know, like Madonna in Vogue. Do you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm also, proud of I mean, I, again, I don't want to dwell on Adam's, you know, foray, but Adam himself is a great inventor. He's thought of a lot of things, like the uh, light, the flashlight cell phone. That's that's one yeah. of his big ones. So, you know, for flashlight us, cell phone. What happens there? Well, okay. How many now, times so have you Mike, gotten you like? Are on, now you're giving away my one of my biggest products. Well, I'm I haven't giving patented you, it yet. I'm giving you kudos. For your innovations. Well, I appreciate that. It's taking a lot of money out of my pocket, though. <laughs> okay. Can I can I t give him the scenario, though? Yeah, okay, ahead. imagine this. It's dark. It's late. You maybe, you know, out at, up in the club, had a couple of drinks, whatever. Getting out of the car, you need to find your way to the door, find your keys, whatever. Wouldn't it be great if I had a flashlight? Oh, cool. I got my phone right here. Cell phone, flashlight. Bang. Damn, where can I get one? Are they out? Not yet. But soon, maybe. Did you have, like, a catchy name for it? Um, cell phone flashlight? 
No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just like the ideas guy. I got you know a team of people that's kind of putting that together. For, you know that for me is pretty pretty important project. All right, back with the Beastie Boys video hits, Solid Goal Edition. Now, uh, a rumor has it that when you're in Sydney, you're going to be actually shooting a video while you're here. Is the way there? Is is that true? How'd you find out about that? Yeah. How did it? Yeah. How you must have really sent out your spies. Well, well, actually, I, a friend of mine was finding the location for you, and I was trying to help her to find the suitable house okay. that had the 60s, 70s, or Art Deco look to it. That was the brief. Is that right? Uh, I can't comment at this time, but yes, we are. There will be some forays, some cinematic forays taking place. And so, does that mean that that there will be a new single from the Beastie Boys coming soon? Um, something new. Singles, LPs, CDs, MDs, all that stuff. DPDs, da da, PP, no Some PP. So is that so? There is new Beastie Boys stuff we're yeah. gonna get soon. What if we came out with our own line of dumpsters? <laughs> what? It's like designer ones. Yeah. What about a portable yeah, like, toilet? Like, like the size of a dog food bowl. <laughs> like a Versace dumpster. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A real bougie dumpster. Like right. that someone wouldn't be ashamed to have in front of their, like, you know, a fancy home. Well, it could be like one of those, like, stable tables, and you could have it as a version of something you could eat off, instead of a coffee table. <laughs> it could look a little bit like a toilet. <laughs> it's really work well. That's right, they are the Beastie Boys, in person, real flesh and bones, sitting in front of this camera. This is solid gold video hits, and, uh... I'm just going to talk about entourages because you guys obviously do. You, like, what kind of entourage do you take on the road with you? We go all day. Yeah, just friends. A lot of friends, people we work with. People, you know, we. Oh, well, just a lot of makeup artists, jugglers, you know, some wrestlers, sprinters, stuff like that. It's, you know, some good people. I mean, apparently Mariah Carey has someone to hold a straw for her just in case she so needs to. When right. she's when she's on tour, <laughs> do you, would like would you have anything obscure as that maybe? You got a number for that person? Oh, I'm sure we get it for you. Yeah, yeah that could come the, in handy. The straw holder. Yeah. I have somebody. Um, they just just there to put the umbrella in my drink. I used to have because you're very sensitive with me when I was walking the streets. <laughs> yeah. Can't <laughs> run into an alley. The, you, your toilet paper guy wasn't no, there no, last I'm night. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I never had that. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, you know, I think Mimi gets a bad rap, though. I think that, you know, Mimi, they talk a lot about Mimi and the things that she has and needs, and I don't, I don't really believe all that. I don't think Mimi has, I'm going to say Mimi again, um, has someone to hold her straw. That's just ridiculous. So I'm sticking up for my good friend Mimi. Is she a good mate, Mimi? Is she a good friend of the Beastie Boys? She's important, she's important to us. I mean, I've never actually met her or anything, but I'm glad she's out there. Oh, when you... Talk to her. Don't talk to her. Do you refer to her as Mimi or the voice? Uh, Mimi. Uh, yeah. Can't tell me the I, voice. I would go with the voice myself. I just think it's cool. It'd be cool to call someone by the name of the voice. There's someone in Australia called that. John Farnham. The, the voice. voice try and understand it. Yo, yeah. Okay, I got a big idea for Australia. You ready? I'm not going to charge for this one. It's free. Okay. Special Australia only tour is a battle between the voice and the voice, right? Mariah Carey versus the Australian dude in a sing-off. I think that's a great idea. I, I really do. This this opera chick actually just pulled out of a tour with John Farnham, and he's like about 55 because girls were still throwing underpants on the stage. See, but that would be good for, I think Mimi could hold her own in that kind of, or the voice rather, could hold her own in that kind of, you know, arena. Just well, people you're saying it's a tour, so would it just be like a new competition each day? No, it's just uh, night after night, you know, like, okay, whatever, in like Sydney, in Sydney, the Australian voice might win. Then they get down here to Melbourne, then Mariah Carey, the voice, <coughs> might win. You know, they get to Perth, who knows? I've thrown my underwear at a lot of performers, actually, which is awkward. It's tough for me to get them off. Take yeah. my pants off and then take my underwear off and put my pants back on. I think you shoes use a special off. method where you cut the side. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, for you, that wouldn't be so bad because you just go around back from where the you know show was at. 
alley. Didn't you say you just kind of snip the string right there? <laughs> and then you can just pull them out. Actually, my underwears don't have strings on them. It's weird. Well, not anymore, anyway. <laughs> This is Solid Gold Video Hits, I'm Nathan, and these are all three of the Beastie Boys. Now, now you guys are going to be shooting this video, we did manage to get this out of you. Is it going to be like a theme to it, like, you're getting hot in here now? It's hot. It's hot, yes. Well, what happens on stage? Are you going to take, sort of, de-robe as the, as the gig goes on? I hope so. You know, it's all a matter of just whatever is necessary. You know, if that's what it takes to, to you know, bring the audience to a point of frenzy, yeah. <laughs> we'll have no choice but to resort to those kind of measures. It's sad, it's a sad thing, but sometimes it has to happen. Well, sex sells. It's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, look at us. It, it's, you know, no <laughs> mystery. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, just wondering, can I be in your new video? Like, do you need extras? Do you need people to do things? I'll, I'll hold your umbrellas for you. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right. What about and and just just maybe a hint. When might we get some new Beastie Boys in the record stores? Yo, June, whatever it is, in the stores. Ever get to see the Beastie Boys in the street? And this gentleman in particular, make sure you invite him in to use your bathroom because that we're would... just showing around back to where the dumpsters at. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's catching your back. This is really messed up. I'm sorry. Melbourne. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I had to, but I didn't mean to. Uh, thanks for